Shannon left so you have to have his deal and sign with Phoenix. Right. Uh, how are you guys in terms of uh, guard scoring off the bench? Has he left the void? Uh, no, no, you know what? I, I, obviously, I coach Shannon. I like Shannon. If he was still here, great. Uh, but he's not. Uh, and I like the guys that we have right now coming off the bench. Uh, we just have to keep, you know, I got to keep searching for the right combinations and the right things to do for them out on the floor. But uh, uh, I like the guys that I have on the bench. What are you still searching for in regards to Andrew and Jason? Well, you know, I, I just want to give Andrew an opportunity to, you know, without the quick hook, you know, on him. And I, I want to see what he can do. It's, you know, obviously he, he's a little different than, uh, than, not a little different, a lot different than Capono in terms of his uh, floor game. But uh, they're, they're both guys that can contribute to our team. But then, I mean, yeah, to, to me and Andrew, really, you know, you're going to a 46th pick in the draft, and all of a sudden you try to fill a spot you know, behind them. Does that kind of indicate that there's a hole in the roster? There's a kind of what? Sort of indicate that there's a hole in the roster somewhere if you have to turn to a. No, no, he, he's. Well, the, the, this is how I look at it. He. he Because uh, the, the other kid, Darius, was a higher pick than him, so it's not necessarily uh, the 46th pick. I mean, Goodlock's played four years in college, he's an older guy. Uh, he's, you know, he's played in big games at a, you know, he's at a small college, but they played against big teams, and he's, he performed well in big games with knowing that he's the guy, and his skill set is something right now that, uh, that we don't have a lot of. He can shoot the three, he can play pick and roll, he can create off the dribble, he's got a pull up game, he's got a floater game, uh, and then he's decent, and he could be better defense. He could still get better defense defensively. Uh, solid athlete, so there, there's some things that he can do that we don't have a ton of on the bench, and everybody knows that. We don't have guys that, like I said before, that like Jamal Crawford or Raymond Felton, they just go play pick and roll and get us something good, and I think good, good luck may be able to do that as well as shoot the three. Uh, and so that's that's what's exciting. But, you know, when I was in Cleveland, um, you know, I had a similar situation. I, uh, I don't can't remember what year it is, but Daniel Gibson was a second round pick, and you know, I just I, I felt there was something there, and, and and really, I meant we had a first round pick that year in Shannon Brown, who I, I played Gib in front of Shannon, you know, and uh, just because I felt I th thought that he fit better, and you know, so I'm trying to see if Goodlock is is uh, going to be similar. It's sort of the exception to the rule, though, when you have a team with these kind of aspirations to, to play a guy like that. It's not the norm. To, to play a guy to like Gibb? To play to have a guy like that in your rotation. Like Daniel Gibson or no, Goodlock? Like, well, like Gibson then or Goodlock now. No, yeah, well, I, I, I hope I'm understanding your question right, but I mean, I, although we didn't win a championship in Cleveland, our aspirations were the same as here in LA, you know, so, so uh, I, I don't think that's much, much different. We felt we were a championship team, level team, but uh, obviously we didn't get there. Uh, and so I just felt he was a better fit for the, for the team. And that's why I gave him an opportunity. Is, is Darius just behind two point guards, established point guards, and there's just not an opportunity to play three? Uh, right now, correct, yes.